Hi guys, so clearly I'm way overdue or these tomatoes are way overdue. They need to be transplanted and uh, I'm gonna give you my tips on transplanting them and as you can see now I'm missing half of the tomatoes because I gave them to a friend of mine and she's gonna plant them in her garden. So uh, we will start with uh, the first very important thing is make sure to uh, water your plants or your seedlings. These are no longer seedlings, they're quite big. But make sure to water them before you transplant them. This way you're not risking breaking the roots. And I watered those guys as well. And uh, so as always, for those of you ha who have watched my videos before, you will need the trays, the cups that have, well, this one doesn't, but making a mess, the cups that have holes in the bottom. Right here you can see them. And the starting mix that I'm gonna use one more time before I transplant them to uh, into the garden and into pots. And it's very important, at least to me, is to use very, very, very good soil for your seedlings because uh, you don't want any diseases or depleted so any diseases getting onto your seedlings or depleted soil that uh, has nothing in it to feed the seedlings. So with that said, we're gonna start right now. So with these two guys, each one of them, it's gonna get their own home. And before I separate them, I am going to add about half an inch of soil because um, I would like to bury them all the way up to uh, these leaves. And uh, if you can see right over here, all these little fuzzies or hairs, whatever you want to call them, they will grow roots and they will make the plant stronger with a bigger root system. So I'm going to start by adding just a little bit of soil in each one of those cups. So I added about, well, now it looks more like an inch, but once I press it down a little bit, it's going to be less than that. And now we're going to start the separation of these guys. This is one of my favorite parts of the gardening process, seeing the roots in my plants. Hopefully you can see them well. All right, and I'm gonna remove those baby leaves out of here. And we are going to tear them apart. That's painful. That sound just breaks my heart. And then I'm gonna place each one of them in a cup. Place this one as well this and I am going to start adding soil carefully and tomatoes are very forgiving plants so they will grow roots you don't have to worry about that and just keep pressing not too hard but don't let the soil be too loose and this soil it's pretty moist I don't know if you can see through my fingers the liquid coming out so I got it moist so I don't have to water them right away. It's gonna be a day or two before I have to water them. But they stopped growing about a week ago. I'm so late with them. They stopped growing because they just don't have, didn't have enough room over there. But now they should be good. All right, this bad boy is done. And now we'll do the same thing with this guy. And uh, I did the same thing last year and they turned out really, really good. And actually you've seen this tomato, this particular variety tomato in uh, my previous videos. It's very, very delicious tomatoes. So I'm going to plant later on one of them in the raised bed garden and then the other one in a container. So I can see over the summer which one does better, the raised bed garden or the container. I'm still experimenting constantly because here in Arizona it is a challenge growing things. 
All right, this one is done too. So now I'm gonna move to the other tomato plants. I'm gonna start by taking taking them out one by one and I decided to experiment. Look at that, they're growing into one another's pots. Um, I started experiment with the, experimenting with this uh, eggshell uh, container. Uh, it's a pretty good idea. It saves you money. So here I'm gonna put a little bit more soil because these plants are shorter. I'm gonna use one other cup to press it down. And over here I'm going to remove uh, the baby leaves. I don't need those because I am going to bury this plant pretty deep in. And then the same thing, just press down, make sure there are no air pockets there. And then add some more soil and the roots will grow along the whole thing here. And it will make the plant stronger with a stronger root system. So I'm not going to bore you with what I'm doing right now anymore. I'm going to finish the rest of the plants and when I get back I'm going to let you know how I'm going to water them and fertilize them uh, and most importantly water them based on uh, our weather conditions here in Arizona which are very unique. I think uh, my viewers from Saudi Arabia and Qatar and um, what else? Qatar, what other country? I can't remember. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, I can't remember, I'm sorry. But they have to garden under similar conditions. So I will finish the rest of these guys and I will be back. And now that these guys are all planted into cups, I'm gonna put them in my watering trays. And I'm not gonna water them right away because the, moist, the soil is very moist now. But probably tomorrow or the day after, since the temperatures here in, are in the 80s, I am going to water them just with tap water and always make sure to let the water sit outside for a few hours to let the chlorine evaporate. And then every four or five days instead of water, I'm gonna water them with uh, fish fertilizer, one tablespoon diluted in half a gallon of water. I hope you find this video helpful and if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below. I'm really good at answering questions and if you like the video please give it the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click on my photo down there in the corner so you can get updates whenever I post gardening videos. Thank you so much for watching guys and good luck growing tomatoes. Bye!